Hello my lovelies, um, welcome back to another video, my name is Gemma and today I am going to talk you through all the translated fiction by women that is on my TBR. Um, so August is Women in Translation Month, I'm sure many of you know that. Sorry, are you a bit on the wonk? There we go, maybe, maybe that's better. <laughs> So I have several books in translation that are on my um, TBR, both physical and Kindle, that I want to get to pretty soon. I'm going to be honest, I'm not going to get to them all in August, but I thought this was a good time to talk about them and sort of hype them up a bit. Some are pretty well known, um, others potentially a little less well known. Um, so maybe you'll get some new recs from this video. So... Without further ado, I'm going to start with Convenience Store Woman by Sayaka Murata. Apologies, just going to consult my notes. So this one is translated by Ginny Tapley Takamori. Can't even read my own writing. It's a good start, isn't it? Yes, Takamori. Um, so this one has absolutely done the rounds. I think pretty much everyone, maybe except for me, has, has read this one. Um, I don't know too much about it. It's obviously a very thin book, but I think it follows a woman who's trying to buck the expectations of her. Um, she works in a convenience store and she's quite happy to do that. She doesn't feel the need to um, get married or do all the things that her friends and family think that she should do. Um, and I've heard nothing but good things about it. So interested to give this a go. Next up on the list is Strange Weather in Tokyo by Hiromi Kawakami. This one is translated by Alison Markham Powell from the Japanese, sorry the convenience store woman was also from Japanese. There are a lot of these today that I'm going to talk about um, that are written by Japanese authors. Um, seems to be very popular at the moment but I, I would like to expand so if anyone has any um translated fictions by other nationalities then please drop them in the comments below because I'm always looking for new ideas um this one follows a young girl who one day just ends up sitting next to her professor in a cafe I believe and then years later they start a romance I think so it's about how they get from the student professor dynamic to a relationship um so yeah again this one has had quite a lot of rave reviews so very much looking forward to it again another another smaller one so I should be able to get to it it shouldn't take too long to get through when I do eventually get to it <laughs> Next up is one that I have talked about on my channel before, The Housekeeper and the Professor by Yeko Ogawa. This is another booktube darling. Um, and this one is translated by doo -doo 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 -doo, Stephen Snyder. And this follows a professor who has, I think it's a short term, only eight minutes of short term memory. So the housekeeper that goes in has to help him to deal with that situation and things go from there. I don't really know anymore or want to know anymore, but it's supposed to be quite a heartwarming, lovely story. So um, yeah, looking forward to getting to this one. And there is another Yoko Agawa on my list later on. Um, so we'll get to that shortly. Also translated from the Japanese. Another Japanese translation is The Travelling Cat Chronicles by Hiro Arakawa. Um, I saw Cody from Cody's Book Corner read this recently and she was emotionally destroyed by it. So if you've watched any of my videos, you'll know that's exactly the kind of literature I like. Um, so yeah, I literally know nothing more than that. I think it literally the cat is the main protagonist in the story, which is a bit different. Also, <laughs> French flaps, which I love. And this is translated by Philip Gabriel. Um, so yeah, and I just think it's a really pretty colour. I love this sort of pastely blue. So yeah, though, 
I will say I am a dog person rather than a cat person. So it might not get me in the feels quite the way it would if this was uh, the traveling dog chronicles, but we shall see, we shall see. And the last one from the physical TBR that I own is one that's not translated from Japanese, but translated from Spanish. And that is Daughter of Fortune by Isabel Allende. Um, Isabel Allende is a Chilean author. She has written a lot of books. I think she's, I don't know how many, this is quite an old edition and there's one, two, three, four, five, seven in there. And I know she's written some since then. Um, and I've been wanting to try her out for ages. So apologies for the sticker. I did buy this for, I don't know if you can see that, £1.75 in a charity shop. Um, so in a nutshell, I think it's about a young girl named Eliza who is effectively dropped off on a doorstep and is adopted by a woman and it goes from there as, as the foundling Eliza tries to take a different path to that the adoptive mother wants her to take, I think. So yeah, very interested in picking this up. This is translated by Margaret Sayers Peden? Peden? I'm not sure how you say that. P P Peden? Peden? Um, so yeah, absolutely looking forward to getting on to this. And this is the chunkiest of, of the ones that I've picked up and it's still under 400 pages. So lots of short um, translated fiction there. So moving on to books on my Kindle, where I shall magically pop up a picture over here somewhere. Um, the first one is Breasts and Eggs by Miko Kawakami. That one is translated from the Japanese by Sam Betts and David Boyd. This story, I believe it's broken into two parts. So the first part is breasts and the second part is eggs. And I think the first part focuses more on plastic surgery and the second part maybe on fertility. I may be making that up, but that's that seems to ring a bell in my head. But it follows three women, um, the sort of the main character and then her older sister and her teenage daughter and the the realities i suppose of womanhood and what's expected of a woman in um contemporary japanese culture so very much looking forward to, to get into that one because again i've seen very good things but i do believe it's a bit on the chunky side so yeah and some people like one section a lot more than the other section so I mean, it's got two translators, so I don't know if one translator translated the first part and another one translated the second part, but maybe that's got something to do with it. Pure speculation. Do not come here for facts, just speculation. Okay, next one is The Memory Piece by Yoko Agawa. This one is also translated by the same translator as um, The Housekeeper and The Professor, so Stephen Snyder. This one was on the International Booker oh, long list or and or short list last year. And the premise sounds really interesting. It hasn't had that much hype or I haven't seen that much about it um, since it came out. But broadly, I think it's about some people living on an island and they are forgetting things. And there's a writer or a journalist who's trying to stop people from forgetting all these things um yeah so it sounds quite uh sort of magical realism speculative fiction and yeah absolutely intrigued to pick that one up especially as i also have another one by her so she she clearly comes up with concepts that interest me <laughs> so yeah we'll give that one a whirl next on my list is one that's not translated from Japanese. Sorry, Breast and Eggs and The Memory Police are both Japanese translations. The next one I have for you is a Czech translation and that is Goethe, which is written by Katerina Tuchkova. Apologies if I pronounced that wrong. And translated by Veronique Vakamsi. Um, so I've not heard anybody talk about this book. Um, 
but it sounds really interesting to me. I'm a massive historical fiction fan, so it's historical fiction, so it ticks that box. It's about a young Czech woman in World War II. She has a Czech mother and a German father who um, follows Hitler, so a, a Nazi father. And it's about her growing up <clears throat> or her living through the war on different sides with with her heritage on different sides of the the war um and i believe it's multi-generational she has a daughter and it follows her as she's effectively expelled from the czech republic because of her lineage and she sort of doesn't really have anywhere to go and then it must go through the generations and i wonder if there's a bit of back and forth along timelines not entirely sure but the premise sounds right up my alley and i haven't really read much world war ii fiction from a czech perspective or any actually to be fair so that piqued my interest so yeah haven to pick that one up soon so that's goethe next up i have a korean translation kim ji young born 1982 this again has done the rounds i've seen a lot of people talking about this by the author Cho Nam Ju and translated by Jamie Chang. So I literally know nothing about this book. I believe it's sort of like a coming of age type story set in Korea. But yeah, hopefully I'll get to it soon and then I can tell you all about it. And last on my list is a French translation, which is also a new release it literally came out at the beginning of august i believe called w waiting for the waters to rise by maurice condy conde and translated by richard philcox so this follows the story of a doctor um who loses various family members the the underlying theme here i believe is grief and a young Haitian orphan sort of rocks up at his doorstep and he takes them in and takes her to, back to Haiti in a time of quite a lot of political unrest and tries to find her family. Um, so her mother's died and, and then he's trying to find other family for her, I believe. Um, sounds really interesting. I haven't read any fiction that's based predominantly in Haiti. So very interested to see where that goes. And I quite like children in fiction as well. I know it's not everyone's cup of tea, but yeah, very interested to see how that works through. Um, and obviously the, the doctor is going through his own grief and how he copes with that. And when, when he's got a child, he's going through grief also. So yeah very interested in picking that one up soon so i feel that that was a really short video um but i hope i hope some of those were of interest perhaps you there are a few on there that you haven't heard of i know there are a lot that are very well loved and well publicized um but yeah as i said so much of the books on that list are translated from japanese so if anyone has any suggestions for other books translated from other languages, I'm all ears. Put them in the comments because I'm always looking for translated fiction recommendations to try and broaden my um, my reading, really, and listen to other points of view that potentially we don't get to hear much as English-speaking people. So, yeah. Well, thanks very much, and I look forward to seeing you next week for some more content. Okay, bye!